Hello and welcome to a new and hopefully exciting CSS Tech Talk. Sadly, today we will not talk about the Trinity 2, even if this is our top-notch and I would say most creative product ever made. And also, sadly, we will not talk about the Trinity 2 Pan Axis, which is presenting how model our philosophy is and our designs. Now, today we will talk about Artemis, because all of this is based on the Artemis, a stabilizer I designed 25 years ago, and a system which was the entry system for many, many operators to start their career. So I think it is time after 25 years to present to you the new entry level stabilizer, the new Artemis 2 Life. Let's start with the most obvious thing. As you can see, the new Artemis Life is extremely compact and short. So how did we get there? So what we did is, first of all, we removed the battery hanger. Because this battery hanger is really made for Cine applications and the Trinity, which you may not need in the Life applications. The other thing to save weight and also to get the rig more compact, we removed the classic monitor bracket and the clamp on the post. So, the new battery system is really focused on the needs of broadcast. Later, we'll talk about this little power box. And the other thing we did is we simplified the monitor bracket. So, we designed this new MMA2 monitor uh, mounting bracket, which is parked right away on the same 90 millimeter rods, which are connected to the sled and holding the batteries. Now, for the nerds, let's go into some numbers. The means, the size difference or the length difference between the rigs is quite interesting. So, the Artemis Cine with a standard post, when we go from here to the Artemis Cine with a shorty post, is 11.5 centimeters or 4.5 inches shorter. And from this shorty Cine style, to the Artemis Live using the same short post, we can get another 6.5 centimeters out or 2.5 inches, which means in total from here to here, this is 18 centimeters or 7 inches. Which brings us to the total length of the Artemis Live, which is 55 centimeters or 21.6 inches. If I think back to the intro, there was the Amira with a zoom lens mounted to the Artemis Life. This camera setup is 55 centimeters. That means every time your camera setup is about this length, your rig is perfectly square, which gives you a very special high quality dynamic balance and a very special agile way to operate the Artemis Life. Now, when you compare the bottom stage, the post, the gimbal, and the top stage with the Artemis 2 Cine, you will see that the Artemis 2 Live is using the same components. That means you got exactly the same features like 2x 12G video, high capacity wiring for camera, power supply, Tali wiring, L bus wiring, and single shielded Ethernet for future applications. So again, the only and the biggest difference beside the monitor bracket is the battery hanger, because this battery hanger on the Cine version is way overperforming to the needs in live applications. And by removing this, let's say, expensive battery hanger, we had been able to offer a reasonable price for this Artemis Life. Now let's have a closer look to the new components of the Artemis Life. So the core thing is this new battery hanger module, which is the sled in the end, it takes the 90 millimeter rods, it got four clamps on each side, and it offers some frets to add some accessories later. At the front, we have this brand new monitor mounting adapter, which is also clamped onto the 90 millimeter rods. And on the front, it's using the standard monitor mounting clamp, which allows you to run three different monitors, like the small HD, the trans video and the smart systems. So for all these three monitors, we have special yokes. At the end of the sled, we have the known battery mounting adapter, which can take gold mount batteries or V mount batteries. 
And another core component is this brand new power cable. So this little box is managing the connected batteries. As you can see, it can take up to two batteries. And this one is specially made for broadcast. That means this is a 12 volt hot swap version. That means you can put in two 12 volt batteries and you can swap batteries while the other battery is still keeping the system running. So all these components you can buy on your own, but of course, to make your life much easier, we designed some sets, which I will explain you right now. Of course, you can find all the single components on our webpage, but honestly, to make your life much easier, we designed some ready-to-shoot sets and some conversion kits. Now, let me walk you through our first ready-to-shoot set, which is including a complete rig, a seven-inch monitor, a vest, dogging bracket, 23 kilo spring arm, a tally system, and all other cables and tools needed to go straight to set. For our operators, which prefer to operate a TIFF Volt gimbal, we made a special set using the Volt Post. But same structure, a complete rig, 23 kilo arm, vest, tally system, and all tools and cables needed. Maybe someone likes to have a second unit, so for these guys we made the so-called naked rigs. And it's your choice what, how you're going to manage the monitor mounting. For existing Artemis clients we made so-called conversion kits, so this allows you to change your Artemis Cine application into an Artemis Live application. These sets are available with or without a monitor. And the same we did for Trinity 2 operators. So here you can also change your Trinity into a real Artemis Live with or without a monitor. It's your choice. You will find more details and OK numbers on the RE webpage. In the course of the development of the Artemis 2 Live, we also worked on some brand new additional monitor brackets. And all these brackets are based on the viewfinder mounting adapter, which can take any kind of 5-inch monitors. So the first application is a second monitor at the sled. To do so, we also designed this bracket which can take the viewfinder adapter and this bracket called MMA3. So what you do is you place this bracket onto the 90 millimeter rods and then you slide in the monitor and bring it into the desired position. So this way you have the big screen and the small screen. You see your image and you're going to see the program image. On top of this, we also designed a bracket for low mode applications. So this is based on the SSP3 and this is the MMA4. So this bracket is going to be placed right below the top stage and then you can place the 5 inch monitor right here. So this allows you to have a perfect second monitor to do a perfect low mode operating. Which brings us to the operating advantages of the Artemis 2 Live. Obviously now we're going to talk about the operating of the Artemis 2 Live. Just again let me point out how short and compact the design is. As you can see on my side I got the Artemis Cine with the standard pose. And as you can see the Live is including the camera about the same length. The other good news is, because of the more compact sled, the Artemis Life is about 1.5 kilos, 3.3 pounds less weight, depends on the monitor and battery combination. Which means less weight is always good for live broadcast event operating, because you have to run for hours. Second, such a lightweight compact design is also more agile. That means the operator can offer way more dynamic shots, which Michael is going to show us right now. So Michael is presenting us the ready-to-shoot set. That means he wears the vest. He got the 23 kilo Springer, which is about 50 pounds. And I would say, Michael, just go ahead. As you can see, even if this is a kind of heavy camera setup, how easily he's pulling out of the dogging bracket. It's really easy for him to start stop. As you can see, the rig stays absolutely straight without any technical help, by the way. You can also see that he got a lot of leg room below his knees. So this allows him to do complete different maneuvers. So the other thing we can see right away here is how much clearance Michael got below the rig. 
let me show this. If I would try to do the same, let's see, it is about the same height. I will hit my knees with my own sled. And this makes the Artemis life so perfect for tight spaces, or let's say also very dynamic setups like in a music show. So I hope you like this tech talk so far, and I would love to invite you to the next Artemis workshop. So hopefully we're gonna see us soon again.